Hey guys, it's me Diana. So in today's video, I am doing a get ready with me chit chat version. And I normally don't do this. I usually just put music over it or whatever because I feel like it just gets too long. But I went on Snapchat where you can follow me. My name is at Beauty Zombie and I asked you guys what you wanted and majority of you said that you wanted to see me do a chit chat video because I guess you guys like hearing me talk because I can go on and on and on. But with that being said, I kind of need to get started with a tutorial. So if you want to see how I got this look, then go ahead and continue watching this video. Uh, did I pull off the intro? Is that how they do it? That's how they do it, right? I all right, so to get started with this get ready with me look, I am going to put lotion on my skin. It rubs lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. Thumbs up this video if you know where that's from, if you're old enough to know where that's from. So I am using the Ultralight Face Lotion Moisturizer from Lather. So I have been using this moisturizer for a really long time. If you guys follow me, then you know that. But I'm just going to put it on my skin, as you can see. But then afterwards, I put on my IT Cosmetics number 50 Serum Collagen Veil Anti-Aging Primer. And I only put this in my T-zone because that's all I need it in. So I just go down at my nose, up my forehead, lip and chin, and then I kind of just drag it out. I usually use the Porefessional, but I really like the scent of this one. It's very fruity, kind of citrusy, reminds me of an orange Julius. Now to move on to my foundation. Something that I've been using a lot lately is this Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless Foundation, and I am in the color Natural Tan. So I just take a little bit on the back of my hand, and what I do is I just dab like little spots all over me head, my cabeza. I go ahead and I take my beauty blender and I just tap my face with it all over just to blend it all out. And it's great to use moist. I think it helps with blending. Oh, the word moist, man. That just gets me every time. And so I don't really like the word moist, but I also don't really like the word panties. So when you put that together, moist panties, oh, that sounds so weird. Very random, I know. So my foundation is on, now I'm going to go to my concealer. I use the IT Cosmetics Full Coverage Anti-Aging Concealer. It's the waterproof one, and it is also in the color neutral. I prefer to be brighter underneath my eyes. So I just take this and pat it just like that under my eyes. Just like that, just to do some brightness. I take my beauty blender again and I just go ahead and blend it out and by the way my beauty blender is ratchet I clean it all the time and look at I got eyeliner on it and it was waterproof but oh well so I'm just going to blend it out like I said so I feel like I always talk about me when I'm on this channel it's mainly just vlogs and whatnot but I wanted to I don't know just connect with you guys on a different level so Comment down below and let me know what your favorite beauty products are because as you are watching this you are seeing what I use but I would love to know what you guys use. Now I just like to set everything and I'm just going to use my IT Cosmetics powder and bronzer brush. It's this huge brush and I'm just going to take my NYX powder foundation in the color tan. I guess I'm just a tan person and I'm just going to go ahead and set my under eye. I don't really like putting too much so I just put it on the places where I put my concealer. Now that that is all set, I like to go ahead and go into bronzer and contouring and highlight and all that jazz. Today, I don't think I'm gonna contour too much. I have this Chella, they call it a highlighter, which is very confusing to me because it is a very dark color, but it's called an espresso highlighter. I'm gonna go ahead and try it out today. Hopefully it works out. I don't know. I'm kind of nervous. So I'm just gonna do a little at first. Right? 
okay, just like this. I've also been kind of like contouring my nose just to see how it goes. I usually like my nose, but I think it's just nice to be structured. like that. Oh yeah, I do like it actually. Okay, let's keep blending. I completely forgot to moisturize my lips too, so I use a Kiss of Smoothness by Nivea. I'm just gonna pop that on real quick. Now I'm going to go in with my Hoola bronzer from Benefit. Y'all already know. I'm going to place that over my contour just like that. Help set it and also help blend it out. I like being really bronzed too, but I might go overboard so I don't want to do too much. And then for blush, I'm actually going to take this Luxie. I'm gonna take this Luxie Precision. I'm gonna take this Luxie Precision foundation brush, and I really want to try it out for foundation. But recently, I've been using it for blush, and I'm going to take this Tarte Amazonian Clay Blusher in the color Exposed. My cheeks. When I first got this, I was like, you are not going to be able to see this on my skin. And then I actually tried it and I was like, oh, girl, <laughs> all right. Recently, I have been going for the natural look just because, I mean, it's getting into spring now. And when it's spring, I normally prefer to just have like the no makeup makeup look. I am now going to highlight and my current favorite highlight has been this bad boy right here It is the color pop Highlights and it is in the color stole the show So I just take my finger and I pat it in here and I'll go ahead and just Dab it's where I normally highlight so it's gonna be above my cheekbone What's your favorite highlight? Maybe you know, hopefully you guys are letting me know throughout this video what your favorite anything is, but I just recently got into the highlight world, if that makes any sense. So um, I don't really know what is good. This is good for me. I've been loving this guy. Beautiful. Now I am going to move on to the brows, and I normally just use powder, but I have been using this dark brown brow pomade in number 75118. I'm using the brush that it came with. It's duo ended, has an angled brush right here, and then a spoolie on this end. There's the front, and then I try to kind of blend it out so it's not too harsh in the front because sometimes I get a little crazy with my eyebrows and I just make it so squared and then so dark but I don't know I prefer the darker eyebrow look when I talk a lot of people have noticed that I actually talk with my eyebrows like I move my eyebrows up and down a lot and it just has a lot of expression on my face <laughs> but what I like to do when I do my eyebrows just in case is I lift my eyebrows up as I'm doing it and I don't know if you can see there's like a bare space right there so that just helps me because one thing that I don't want anyone to tell me is that I miss a spot and then I take the spoolie and I just blend it all together. Spoolies are amazing. So there is one brow right there looking fab you less. And I'm going to do my other brow and I'll be right back. All right. So that is basically it. What I like to do then if I feel like it is a little too squared and dark in the front is I take my beauty blender and I just dip it in the powder. 
and I just pat it right there in the middle and it just helps kind of fade it out a little bit more, it makes it less harsh. See? 